Does she like you? She doesn't even notice. Have you tried talking to her? No. Want me to talk to her? No! Okay, okay, so what are you going to do about it? I wrote a poem. There once was a fair beauty named Annabelle. So loud! For whom he salts truly in love fell. Blown he offered his heart, she jumped the start, and said, I have to go now, because I just heard the end of the last bell. Salts, you're in love. Oh, he's here. Who's here? Who's that? Why don't you go and talk to her? I'm, I'm busy. <coughs> what book are you reading? Isn't he good? Yes. You read a lot, don't you? Yes. So does Salts over here. What is love? Real love? I'm not so sure I know. Attraction, desire, or affection felt for a person who arouses delight. How's it going, Zero? Hey, Ranish, how are you doing? How's it going, eh? So, you guys aren't going to leave this one. Salts is in love. Really? For real. For someone? Of course, for someone. Who? Annabelle Sackpool. Sackpool? Keep it down. Do you have any idea how hard it is to be in love? You're about all the time on TV and in Salts. That stuff does not count. Listen to this. Love, the attraction, desire, or affection felt for a person rouses delight or admiration. Affection, or elicits tenderness, sympathetic interest, or benevolence devoted to affection as, quote, a mother's love for her child. You can do all of that all at once. <laughs> benevolence, sympathetic interest. No wonder I've never been in love. I don't know what half of those things mean. Neither do I. Good thing we're going to school. Yep. And there sits my best friend, something that's of sympathetic interests. He needs help. No, they don't look like they're in love. Salt is. What about Stackpool? How is should she I? love with him? Um, well, you know, before we offer any help, you should probably uh, ask. No way. Ask Lucy Neblet. What? Lucy Neblet. If anything like that is going on in class, Neblet would know. He's right. Ask Lucy Neblet. Yeah, but what? Women to help love guys, but with girls it's harder. Do you want to help Salts, or don't you? D sure I do, but Lucy Neblet? What's wrong with Lucy Neblet? Nothing! That's the problem. Something the matter, Ed? Um, it, yeah, it's about Salts. Come on, Albert, listen. And you're not supposed to have those matches. 
this is about salts and stat pool. Stat pool? What about her? Salts sort of likes her. Salts and stat pool? You got a kid! <laughs> Sit down. You said you were listening. <laughs> yes, this is serious. Go on, Ed. All right, so they are in love, but they don't know what to do about it. What's that to do with anything? Except that they're dopes. Well, you do know how we're reading Romeo and Juliet like the charts. Right. Okay. So, I was thinking, what if we actually put the play on? On the stage? In the assembly hall. We get stacked with play Romeo, I mean, yeah. salt to play Romeo. And stacked with play Juliet. Right, they have to look at each other. And it's all. So, I wonder if it would really help them. What do you think? Makes me want to laugh. Don't you like your face improves? I think it? the play is a wonderful idea. I'll go out work. How would we do it? As an after school drama club, other kids have done it. We'll ask Mr. Sullivan for permission. We'll need lots more people. When they know what's happening, they'll be willing. It's for a good cause. Are you going to tell Salt to stack pool? Better not. If they guess what's going on, I don't think they'll go along. Too shy. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I know. When the secretaries did their play, they voted people to part. So all we have to do is use Salt to stack pool into a meeting and vote them in. They'll never guess why. And they won't be able to back out. I think Radish has the answer. It's a lovely idea. I'm against it. Unless I'm in the play, too. You'll get a part, Hamilton. Which one? What does it matter? This is for salt, not you. And it's that cool. Oi, that's the part I want. You'll get your part, Hamilton. Priscilla, will you help me with the script? Sure, Ed. Salt for Romeo? Stack for Juliet? What a bomb! Hamilton, no bombs. Just kidding. OK, everyone. Same time, same place tomorrow and bring everyone you think might want to help. Only do not tell them why we're doing this, okay? I'll bring Annabelle. And I got salts. Hey, Mr. Sullivan. Ed, Lucy, what can I do for you? <laughs> well, we've been reading Romeo and Juliet, Mike Jarvis. William Shakespeare. The most important writer in the world? Are you enjoying it? Oh, sure. We like it so much, we'd like to put the play on. A performance of, of, of Romeo and Juliet? Uh-huh. In the assembly hall. They don't even want to come and see it. Well, Romeo and Juliet takes at least two and a half hours to perform. Oh, really? We will do a shortened version. Are, are you going to direct it yourselves? I guess I could do that. I haven't volunteered for anything else yet. Well, when is all this supposed to happen? <laughs> in a couple of weeks. Two, two weeks? Can you do an entire production in two weeks with sets and costumes? The school stores all that for other plays. We uh, like to use it. Uh, uh, what about actors? Oh, well, lots. Well, I don't know. This certainly is ambitious. But you're welcome to try. I'll, I'll put it on the calendar. All righty. Thanks, Mr. Sullivan. <laughs> so, uh -huh. if I asked you to do something, would you do it? Depends on what it is. I want you to say yes, no matter what, you'll do it. All right, I'll no trust you. No matter what. I said yes, didn't I? What is it? I want you to be in a play. What's that supposed to mean? That's just it. We're going to play here after school, all around, kind of a eh, eighth grade drum club. What kind of play? Romeo and Juliet. You've got to be kidding. Honest. The whole thing? No way, just the important parts. I thought you were going to ask me something hard. That's it. Want me to work the spotlight? I'm not sure yet. Remember, whatever I want. You said you would. No big deal. Remember, you promised. All right. wonderful that you're going to do Romeo and Juliet. Thanks, Mrs. Bacon. We're really excited. Now, what can I do to help? Actually, I really didn't want to bother you. This is going to be really tedious. That's very considerate of you. But I was thinking, just to get you going, it would be a good idea to let me go over the script with you. Shakespeare must be done properly. Um, well, you see, you know how you said um, Romeo and Juliet's actually about kids, you know? Juliet's 13, Romeo's a little older? That's true. 
Shakespeare isn't just for all times of the day, but for all ages. <coughs> well, you see, that's just the point. We were thinking since this play is about kids, we kids should be putting it on ourselves. No one knows us better than us. how we kids can't do anything for ourselves. All you do is sit back, watch television, and play video games. A lot of people do say such things. Putting on this play will demonstrate how mature we are. I hadn't thought of it that way. You're great, Ed. This will set a wonderful example for the rest of this school. Thank you Miss, very much, Mrs. Bacon. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Who's gonna play Romeo, Salt or Hamilton? Mind saying that again. I know Salt is your buddy and all, but he's no Romeo. It's all set up, Sonstrom. You're having a club, right? Clubs are open to anyone. You can't just take who you want. <laughs> who sent you? Did Hamilton send you? I thought so. What's this all about? I thought it over. Romeo part is me. Last sword fights. This is supposed to be about salts and stack pool. Remember? Salt stinks. We need someone good. Like me. Like you what, Hamilton? Yeah. Like you'd be about a Romeo with salts. Go, oh, Romeo, man. You better believe it. If I don't get the part I want, I'll tell salts what's going on. It is hard for people to think of salts as Romeo. Yeah, you should draw a word of bell instead of pitching up his pants all the time. Maybe you should tell salts what's happening. Then Hamilton can black him. If he did, he wouldn't be in at all. All right. Here come the others. <laughs> Take a seat, uh, uh, everybody. Anywhere you want. All right. Now, if you really want to put on Romeo and Juliet, which <laughs> I'm assuming you do, or else you wouldn't be here, it has to be performed in two weeks. Two weeks? <laughs> OK, moving on. We need to decide who is going to play what character. Crystals. I don't know. He promised he'd be here. Oh. Okay, so we'll start with Julia. Any nominations? I nominate Annabelle Stackpool. All right, second. <laughs> second. Any other nominations? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Congrats, Annabelle. You're our new Julia. <laughs> All right, um, so we're off to a great start. Any nominations for Romeo? I nominate myself. <laughs> Seconds for Albert Hamilton. Second. You can't second yourself. Cow, what are you doing? I second, I second, whatever. <laughs> Any other nominations? I nominate Pete Saltz. Where is he? Salt accepts. He has to be here in person. Uh, what have you done to him, Hamilton? Me? Never let a hand on him. I second the nomination for Peter Saltz. Come on, Saltz can't do it. He's Romeo and the man in the moon. Do you know what? Majority wins. All in favor of Hamilton for Romeo, raise your hands. Six. All in favor of Salts for Romeo, raise your hands. Six again. It's a tie vote. You break the tie. No! Salts isn't here. That means it has to be me. Somebody jammed my locker. I couldn't get to my stone. Hamilton! Oh, 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 oh. I'll never lay my hand down. Forget it. Salts! You're just in time to break the tie. Who's gonna win? You or Hamilton? What? You vote for yourself or Hamilton? Go. Me. Congrats, you get the part. <laughs> what part? Romeo. He doesn't even know what he voted for. <laughs> he knows he voted against. I nominate Hamilton for the role of Tibble. Who's Tibble? Romeo's enemy. I second that. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Guess it's yours, Hamilton. Oh, yeah? Here's something. You turkeys. No! In my version of this play, Tibble wins! <laughs> Nobody will bother here. That's perfect. Look, I'm marking for me. The baby holds the eyelash. Great. Except there's still some parts you don't understand. <laughs> Leave them out. You sure? No one will notice. Okay. All right, let's begin. You read? I read. The prologue. Enter the court. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona where we have laity. From ancient grudge breaks new beauty, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. Tell me about her, Juliet. How's things your disposition? 
position to be married. It is an honor that I dream not of. Well, think of marriage now. The valet of Paris speaks you for his love. Verona and Summer have to be such a flower. Madam, the guests are come. We follow thee. Welcome, guests. Ladies add their toes and pluck the corns may walk about with you. Come, musicians, play. Violent delights have violent ends. Good 
Me and my ghostly confessor. Come, come with me, and we will make short work. For by your leaves you shall not stay alone. The Holy Church in Corporate 2 and 1. By my head, here comes Capulet, by my ear. I care not. Gentlemen, good evening. A word with one of you. Couple with something. Making a word and a blow. A current shell, laughing sword, just throw me up. Well, <coughs> peace be with you, sir. Here comes my man. Thou art a villain! I do protest, I never injured thee. So will you, rat catcher. Will you walk? <coughs> so thou have me, good king of cats. Nothing but warm your nine lives. I am for you. My dismal 
unseen, I needs must act alone. Come, Vile. Romeo, 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 I drink to thee. Eyes look your last, arms take your last embrace. Here's to my love. Thus with a kiss I die. Romeo, O oh pale, O oh, unkind hours guilty of this lamentable chance. The lady stirs. Where is my Romeo? My husband there lies dead. I dare no longer stay. Poison, I see. Happy his time is end. Oh, happy dagger, this is thy sheath. There rust, and let me die. Do the best you can, it'll be great. Okay. I need your help. 
No problem. So play rough idea. No problem. You read the play, right? So you know where it takes place? No problem. I like the way you think, Sam. Mr. Sullivan said we can use anything we need from the store, so do what you can. No problem.
Alex, just breathe. It'll all turn out okay. How many people do you think will come? <laughs> Ten. Twelve, we're lucky. You think they'll watch?
that a group of our students acting on their own simply because they enjoyed the play decided, uh, decided to put on a performance. It speaks well of the South Fork River and it speaks well of you that you come out to see such a great work of literature. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm sure if you pay close attention, you're going to learn a lot. And now, Romeo and Juliet, presented by the SOR 8th grade. Well, 
my ghostly friar's cell, his help to crave, to have to tell. Welcome back. 
Speak a stop, Juliet. How's she doing? <laughs>
Thatcher had a boyfriend, Anthony, and I was wondering, you know, if you wanted to, if you could play that part. What do you think, good idea? Well, it's not half bad. <laughs> 